My favorite Super Bowl ad is an ad that Oscar Mayer Wiener ran in 1997. It's called The Auditions, and it was created by J. Walter Thompson. The ad they did that year was was all about just kind of featuring kids across the country singing their, their jingle, Oh, I Wish I Was an Oscar Mayer Wiener. And selfishly, the reason I it's my favorite is because I was in it. <laughs> I was five years old at the time. My neighbor and I, who auditioned together, we somehow ended up making the top five. The brand flew us to Hollywood. It was like a, a week-long affair. With B O L O G N A. My favorite Super Bowl ad was from 2018 when Alexa loses her voice. It's 60 degrees with a. <laughs> Alexa? I just thought it was so clever the way they did it. I mean, you even have cameo from Jeff Bezos in it. We have Cardi B, we have Hannibal Lecter. It was just really funny. I thought it was really clever and it's definitely one of my favorite commercials of all time. The movie Space Jam, which came out in 1996, only happened because a couple of Nike Air Jordan Super Bowl ads from 1992 and 1993 convinced Warner Brothers to greenlight the movie. The first one, which is called Hair Jordan, is basically a mini Space Jam without the aliens and Bill Murray. Bugs and Michael Jordan team up to defeat some jerk basketball players, and of course they win thanks to Nike Air Jordan. And then there was one in 1993 called Aerospace Jordan with Marvin the Martian as the villain stealing Air Jordans, and Bugs and Mike have to save the day in a basketball showdown. So that's why Warner Brothers eventually greenlit Space Jam. My favorite Super Bowl ad is The Man Your Man Could Smell Like from 2010. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Many people remember this as a Super Bowl ad. Here's some ad geek trivia for you. It did not actually premiere in the Super Bowl. It was all around the Super Bowl and it got attention just like the Super Bowl ads that year, but it didn't have to pay the five million bucks, which I think is brilliant. If you watch that ad today, it still holds up exactly as well as it did at the time. We had never seen such fourth wall breaking, incredibly funny, clever, sharp advertising before. And that's why I love it. My favorite Super Bowl ad is the It's a Tide ad from the 2018 Super Bowl. Brands should be looking to create more than just an ad, that they should be coming up with some kind of creative stunt around an ad. And I think Ty did that better than anybody ever has. It stars David Harbour from Stranger Things in all these different scenarios. Insinuating because everybody has clean clothes on that every Super Bowl ad is technically a tie ad. <laughs> tie ad. The best moments include David as the Mr. Clean guy and also joining the Old Spice guy for a fake Old Spice ad that turned out to be a tie ad. My favorite Super Bowl ad of all time is the Snickers you're not you when you're hungry ad. It debuted in 2010, the Super Bowl 44, and it featured Betty White, who everybody loves. Come on, man, you've been riding me all day. It just celebrated its 10 year anniversary and it kickstarted a whole campaign for Snickers of them using different ways of saying, you're not you when you're hungry to get their point across. Better? Better. My favorite Super Bowl commercial comes from GoDaddy and it's called Perfect Match, released in 2013. There's two sides to GoDaddy, as they say. There's the sexy side and the smart side. You just get like 50 seconds of these two actors making out on like national television for the Super Bowl. My favorite Super Bowl ad, pound for pound, is Puppy Monkey Baby for Mountain Dew by BBDO in 2016. I thought what made it great was just, it's just weird. It's addictive. It's classic Super Bowl fodder. It's just fantastic. Puppy Monkey Baby, Puppy Monkey Baby, Puppy Monkey Baby. Puppy monkey baby, puppy monkey baby.